In a flash, I understood. The assimilation it was a harvest of souls that began to inject data into my brain. Data like the name of my new master. I was to be a slave. A slave of the Synthesis AI. Synthesis. It controlled everyone. Synthesis is the central cyborg brain entity. It wanted to control me. Welcome back to the dishwasher, and I'm that pale voyager guy. Up here is a secret room with a barrel guy that you should break open with your sword guy so that you can get a neutral bread guy and... Alright, I'm done. I'm done with that line of jokes. It's been played. It has been played like the dishwasher has been played by a man named Let's. Let's upgrade the shift blade to its final form, giving us a multitude of new combos. And that would be two new combos. But it is stronger, and those two new combos are actually rather useful. In addition to the little teleporty behindy thing that I've been using, which is the scientific name for it, um, I don't have the Latin name on hand, but uh, if I did, I would probably tell it to you. We can now do that move twice before, you know, whatever it is we have to do with the enemy, be it gruesome or romantic. It's not really important. But it does give us a little bit more maneuverability, and uh, I think... Don't quote me on this, but I think that you are invincible while you perform it, so that's uh, it's definitely helpful. If I'm right. If I'm not right, then we're all in trouble. Apparently. I think so. So, a whole bunch of soldiers. Man, that's not cool. At least it wouldn't be if this weren't such a, uh, a large area. It's so easy to deal with. You guys should stick to narrow rooms. Look at the times that I actually have trouble dealing with you. Your monkey shines. Shiny monkey is never something we should be searching for. Unless it's Pokemon and it's like one of those monkey ones. I hear those ones. They're going to be shiny at times. Alright, so we got a barrel for breaking all their skulls, which is really unethical, but it gives us the Steel Dish Magic, which is the final spell we get, and we now have an opportunity to test it out. So we will. This final spell goes in a upward arc shooting straight out of you in only one direction, and it is the most powerful spell, um, as your energy is completely concentrated. And it is from concentrated, so I don't know if you find that a health choice that you're fine with. I completely shot that off in the wrong direction, and that is what she said. So, with all of that on the table, we now have a full repertoire of spells, and that's probably the one I'm going to be using the most, because that is the one that, um, deals the most damage. Duh! Get with it. I'm gonna get, get that skull even though I didn't need it, but it's fine. Now, you ever get the feeling you're being watched? It's, you know, it's just a, just a thing. So, uh, in here we- oh, Jesus Christ! Ah, what does this guy want? He's some sort of madman with cleavers. What sort of a psychopathic lunatic would run around attacking people with cleavers? I can't even begin to imagine the kind of sick weirdo that would do something like that. I am shocked and appalled, and I will not stand for it. And as a result, I'm probably going to uh, beat the ever-living tar out of it. Dishwasher, you are some fighter. The boss, so he was testing me. Bravo. He's the head chef at the Foghorn Cafe, but what's he doing here? Dishwasher, I saved you. I carried your dead body out of there. There is something alien in my blood. I tried to give you a transfusion. It worked. No heart, yet here you are. It's not your time to die, Dishwasher. Lo and behold, he's he's been defeated, and... That was an incredibly lame plot device, but that's cool. The chef is a cool guy. How do I get out of here? Okay, there we go. That was not open before, I swear. Take my frustrations out on these guys. These guys in uniforms. Making it plausible and feasible for them to all look the same. I'm on to you! I know what's going on. I've been playing video games for a long time now. You guys... We're on the business end of a dish magic. Sounds like I used a plural in a singular form. I don't like that. And I never will. And I'm going to write a letter to Parliament and complain about it. I'm Canadian. 
I don't think we have Congress. And that, yeah, that, that didn't hit me. So you can see there's a timer running down. Can you guess what the reward is for taking out all these guys? Can you? It's gonna be a big shocker. I know you're not expecting it. See, it's a psycho pick. You had no idea. Now we have another one. Man, they are piling up. I can't seem to spend them fast enough for this game. Hey, what's up, guys? I found out through a little bit of playtesting and field experience. I'm now a battle-hardened soldier, but not the kind that uses a repel cord. What was I getting at? You can use these rocket guys, and the splash damage does affect the other enemy. The explosion does cause splash damage, is what I'm trying to say. Sort of skirting around it because I'm bad with the, the wordness. But my English is pretty fine. Thanks, you. So yeah, uh, exploding them near a group of enemies is a good way to deal a little bit of splash damage. It's not much, mind you, but it can clear the herd and, you know, make that, that fight a little bit easier. For you, for me, for everybody. Man, this is getting hectic. Shlablam! That's, that's the sound effect I make when I blow things up on people. If you ever hear that sound, you're, you're at the wrong place at the wrong time. And I, my condolences to you. But more importantly, my condolences to your family members. Because they're the ones who are going to have... You know what? This is getting a little bit morbid. Let's just keep slaying these people and, and ruining their lives by any in that order, preferably. Because if it's the other way around, then we're just kind of, I don't know, making zombies unhappy. And zombies have enough problems to deal with, don't they? I think so. Not Walker Drone, out of my life. Everything is much better. We're healthy, we're wealthy, and we're wise. If you're really wise, then open up this barrel and collect the Electrosphere inside, because without it, as usual, cannot progress. And that, that is a thorn in the side of every person on this planet, including the dishwasher. Man! Alright, so let me introduce not a new enemy, but a different variation of an old enemy. They're invisible! Yes, we've seen them before, they are the assassins, but now they've decided that being um, visible is no longer cool. It's, it's de passe, as they say. So now they're just gonna keep doing that now. Now. Redundancy. Ha ha ha. Alright, back to actual grammatical constructs. We are going to take these guys out. Not to dinner, but to a world of pain. And hopefully, they will pick up the bar tab. Or, you know, the check. Depends on what it is we're gonna be doing. I don't know. I don't really have anything planned. Thankfully, although they may be invisible, you can see a uh, an outline of them, not unlike the um, the stealth suit in Metal Gear Solid. They are ever so slightly visible against the background. Light doesn't refract quite so perfectly. So, that's how to deal with them. Also note that you can't grab them until they've shown themselves, so if you try, you're just wasting your time and looking like a goober. It's the Super Rocket Man! I couldn't come up with a better name for him. He's pretty super, though. He's big. He's got a rocket pack. But more importantly, he's also got, like, a buttload of the bombs that soldiers use. So I'm gonna call him the Rocket Soldier. Fortune. That's a better name. He's ugh, just annoying. He's not terribly difficult by himself, but when you have all these other minions that infinitely spawn, no less, he's just... Ugh, worst. He was a hangover times infinity. I can't even tell you how much. He'll just crash all over the place like he's drunk, which kind of ties into my joke, and spam bombs all over the place, or try to ram you with the momentum of his, of his jetpack. It's not cool. It's not what cool people do. Therefore, I dub the lame. Oh, Vern. He's not going to recover from that. Trust me. Now, what makes this boss fight a little bit easier, even though I just said it makes it more annoying, are the minions. Because when you kill the minions, they drop an obscene amount of hearts and sometimes skull magic. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 Henry. So if you ever find yourself low during this fight, as his rockets and his bombs do quite a lot of damage, just 
take one of these fools out as quickly as possible, if you please. And uh, continue on your merry way. You know, unless you don't want to do that. Just make the fight like ten times harder. Somebody doesn't want to stay still, does he? I'm gonna call him Fuzzy Wuzzy. I don't know, that doesn't actually work. Never mind, ignore that. He's almost dead. He will be dead as soon as he stops jumping around like a lunatic. That's my job. You're done. I've had enough of you. Knives in your back. Next time on Let's Play the Dishwasher. I don't know.